So today we shall uh, discuss about the critical potentials in uh, connection with the atomic physics. So before uh, trying to understand these critical potential, we should uh, know about the types of collisions. We should know about these types of collisions. So collisions are of two types. Collision between two particles can be segregated as two types. First one is elastic collision. First one is elastic collision. And the second one is inelastic collision. So these are of two types, elastic collision and inelastic collision. So in an elastic collision, in an elastic collision, if the kinetic energy of the two bodies, the kinetic energy of the body one, and the kinetic energy of the body 2 before collision is equal to the kinetic energy of the body 1 and the kinetic energy of the body 2 after collision then such collisions are referred as elastic collisions. In inelastic collisions in in elastic collisions we can call this as a part of initial kinetic energy that is the kinetic energy before collision appears as some other form of energy so the kinetic energy of the collision uh, kinetic energy of the system before collision is not equal to the kinetic energy of the system after collision but a part of it is converted into some other form of energy such collisions are referred as inelastic collisions so this other form of energy can be either sound energy it can be light energy it can be heat energy right so it can appear in any other form of energy except the kinetic energy so by keeping these types of collision in mind we can now study these critical potentials so what happens when a swiftly moving electron when a swiftly moving electron collides with an atom when a swiftly moving electron collides with an atom the possibility are it can be an elastic collision or it can be an inelastic collision right so what if there is an inelastic collision so when the electron collides with an atom and there is an inelastic collision between these two particles so the energy lost in such collisions will help to raise the electron in the atom to its from its ground state to the higher energy state so we'll try to understand this this electron is moving it is having a very high velocity there is an atom here the nucleus it has got orbits around it so this electron is making a collision with this atom the electron which is in the atom if it goes to higher energy state if it goes to higher energy state then the atom is said to be in the excited state the atom is said to be in the excited state then then the minimum amount of energy the minimum the minimum amount of energy of energy required the minimum amount of energy required to produce to produce the excited atom the excited atom is called as 
is called as it is called as excitation energy it is called as excitation energy sorry excitation energy the energy required for the electron to go from its ground state to the excited state or the higher energy level is called as excitation energy that means there is an inelastic collision occurring between these two particles and the this excess amount of energy or this other form of energy will help the electron to move from the ground state its ground state to the higher state so it is called as excitation energy if i write this excitation energy in terms of electron volt we call it as excitation potential we call it as excitation potential so the first critical potential what we study here is excitation potential it is the excitation potential similarly again if a swiftly moving electron makes a collision with the atom having orbitals around the nucleus and the energy is sufficient for the electron to is sufficient to remove the electron from the, from the outermost orbit it is called as ionization energy it is called as ionization energy that means if this incident electron possesses huge quantity of energy then the orbital electron can be freed the orbital electron can be freed from the attractive force of the nucleus so the minimum value so this minimum value is called as ionization energy which makes the outermost electron leave the atom completely it is called as ionization energy if i write this ionization energy in terms of electron volt we get what is called as ionization potential ionization potential so this is our second critical potential second critical potential ionization potential so this uh, we can understand it like that the energy required to ionize an atom so whenever an electron leaves an atom the atom becomes an ion so the minimum energy required to produce ions is called as ionization energy if i write it in terms of electron volt it is called as ionization potential so these are the two critical potentials that are there in an atom one is excitation potential and the second one is ionization potential